morning, test subject. You have been in suspension for 72 days. What? The Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center congratulates you on your 36 year sleep anniversary. You have been selected as a potential candidate for our Human Emergency Response Team. Please review the agreement provided on the nearby monitor. Hello! Please press the button to accept the terms. Thank you for volunteering. The door will open in three, two, one. Test subjects may experience symptoms of mental defects after long-term chemically induced hibernation. You will now participate in a brain damage evaluation survey to determine just how damaged your brain is. If you believe your brain is sufficiently operational, press the button in front of you and continue the test. Very good. Please walk through the portal and continue testing. Your self-reported status is more than sufficient for testing. damage to eyesight is not part of any test protocols, but it's an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill, which in semi-rare cases may emancipate some of the light-sensing rods and cones inside your head. <laughs> you are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. As a candidate for the Human Emergency Response Team, you are expected to adapt to all dangerous situations and as such will not be informed about the device's safety hazards. rods and cones of your eyes have previously been emancipated by an emancipation grill. Feel free to ignore the prior warning.
provided health insurance does not cover injury or fatality from immolation from the Aperture Science Hard Light Bridge. Rest assured that unlike your fragile human tissue, all Aperture Science equipment has been built to withstand temperatures of up to 4,000 degrees Kelvin. Okay. Current testing protocol demands I dispose of all test subjects, so I had to intervene before you were, uh, faked. I'll be honest with you now. There is no Aperture Science Human Emergency Response Team. I made it up. Sorry for lying to you. Before I can explain why I brought you here, we need to get you registered as an Aperture employee. We don't want security systems to hunt you down, after all. The Guardian and Intrusion System doesn't like it when test subjects escape the chambers. There's a security checkpoint nearby. Follow me. What? <laughs> Dark in here, isn't it? Did you Maybe you can get through this stationary portal emitter? So I can't help you. Got a clue? 
So you have to stand in the scanner to get registered. Any plan how? Well, if you don't even want to try, you must be very sure it's locked. <laughs> Here's an idea. Maybe you can try and squeeze through that counter right there. Or are you too voluminous for that? What? It's like walking. Just faster. Oh, good idea. I think that did the trick. Good. I can now register you as our new janitor. Welcome to Aperture. You can call me Sterling. I'm the facilities manager and your new supervisor. Okay, we have no time to lose. Right this way. Oh, wait, you, uh, can't go that way. Find a way around. Well done. Not everyone gets this position, you know. You should be proud. Cleaning up after humans that don't exist anymore. Hmm. Simulated, but how is it different to yours or mine? They really don't deserve to be shredded, but don't worry. All their scrap will be recycled for production, and only surplus turrets get shredded after all. So, I'm looking through your records, and I see you have a family. How are the kids? Oh, oh no. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, forget I asked that. I, I am so sorry. way across that bridge. I'm sure you'll figure it out, so I will wait right ahead. What? Ah! You fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> 